This is the Modern Beta Server, a server for 1.21 that attempts to recreate a version that came out all the way back in 2011, Beta 1.7.3. The server is Java and Bedrock compatible, and if you're looking to join, the IP is in the description. But now, I've got some work to do. Alright, so here we are on the Modern Beta Server, which I showcased a few videos ago, um, and there are a few things that I want to achieve on this server. I don't want to just showcase it and, you know, not have my own fun playing on this server. So, first things first, what I want to do is get Diamond Armor. Now, obviously, Diamond Armor in beta is pretty much useless, but I need it to show that I am superior to everyone else um, on the server, alright? I need to distinguish myself and flex with my Diamond Armor, okay? It's very important. Number two, I need a house. Now, Keltroid at the end of the world tour actually graciously gave me this prime real estate land in the middle of spawn, which is really cool. And I have some pretty cool ideas of what to turn this into, but obviously that requires a lot of resource gathering, which I'm going to need to do. And it also requires me to turn on my brain and actually, you know, think creatively and build creatively. So yeah, that's, you know, that's a really hard task. And finally, number three, I want to establish my own city on the server. If I'm going to take this server over and be its overlord, then I'm going to need a place to do that from, alright? That isn't, you know, spawn. But yeah, like I said, first things first, we got to uh, go down into the mines and not be poor. Um, I did make a little mine shaft down into uh, here, but I'm thinking that I might actually have to go somewhere that isn't spawn, because I'm going to assume that the entire area is, uh, you know drained of diamonds is what I'm thinking so yeah I do have three diamonds to my name but I don't think that's really enough for diamond armor so yeah I'm gonna take this stuff this is all I have and uh, yeah we're gonna go into the mines okay so my solution to this problem is to come through the nether and I think I'm gonna take the farlands society's uh, railway because I think they have markers every so many blocks I don't know how many so yeah I'm gonna actually take their pathway I think they have like portals that lead to the overworld, you know, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of blocks out and things like that, so, yeah, what is this? Tons of rules. I'm gonna, uh, assume that it's just, hey, don't grief, and, uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, oh, this is cool. How fast is it gonna send me? Oh, super fast. Oh, hell yeah. This is very satisfying. Oh, that's the end of the rail. Well, I mean, it it helped. <laughs> Hopefully there's a portal not too far out, but yeah, there's some lights down there. So maybe that'll be uh, that, that'll be a portal super close by. All right. Is this the 1000? Yep. This looks like the 1000. Oh, there is another portal here. Okay. Maybe I can use this. All right. So we're like 8,000 blocks out. That's pretty far. Some resources there. And a bed. Okay. Let's find a cave entrance. We need to get a bit lower than this, and then we'll find a cave entrance. And then we can finally start gathering some resources. There's a pretty juicy cave right here. A lot of lava. It's kind of what you want to see, honestly. Whoa! It was a nice looking cave. Alright, let's have a look over here. I can't remember if those diamonds I got, I, oh by the way I turned, used my diamonds to get a sword, um, I can't remember if those diamonds, A were, um, collected by me or not, honestly, I think I might have been given those three diamonds, I can't remember, um, but either way, we've got some legit diamonds here, so that's nice, let's grab this real quick. Alright, surely it's more than just one. Look at that trap. Look at that. That was there, there to try and kill me. Oh. <laughs> it was just one. <laughs> Sad. Oh, here's some more diamonds. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is that another six diamonds? Hell yeah. Ooh, more diamonds. Let's go. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. It was more than one. Perfect. How good. All right, we're already up to ten diamonds. I haven't even been mining that long. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Look at this. Look at this. Now that is a stack of diamonds right there. That is a clump of diamonds. Okay, so I am back from my mining trip. And as you can see, I have collected a bunch of resources that are going to help me uh, in the future of this area and this, you know, the, the tasks I have to do. Most notably, I've got 46 diamonds to my name, so I'm, I'm super rich now. And uh, yeah, that's plenty enough to actually make some diamond armor. So here we go. Let's distinguish ourselves from all the, uh, all the, all the non-diamond armor plebs. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. And we got our diamond sword too. Nice. Of course it's turning night time, but yeah, let's go. Aha, but now that I've gone and crafted diamond armor and also all the tools, including a hoe, because you gotta flex with the hoe, um, I have 16 diamonds left, which I can use um, at my leisure. I suppose I'll probably just spend it on swords and pickaxes, I'm guessing, but who knows. Um, but yeah, now it's time to move on to what will probably be one of the harder things of this video is actually making this uh, area all nice and pretty. So I got to get a lot of resources and I think I'll spare you the uh, the resource gathering for this because I got to get a lot of brick, got to get some sandstone and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to collect all those resources and then I'll, I'll cue you in on all the building that's going to be happening here. Alright, so I've done a bit of resource gathering, as you can see here, we've got some sandstone, we've got some bricks and clay in that, it wasn't too difficult to get, I still need quite a lot more, uh, mainly in the wool department, but we'll uh, slowly work on that, but for now, as you guys can see, I've started the process of uh, outlining these plots that we have here, now Caltroid's original vision was sort of a Venice-like uh, I don't know, kind of Venice-like structures, um, as there is like, you know, a river that comes along here. And I think I'm going to continue that. I think that's a that's a great idea, so I'm definitely going to, um, you know, use that as inspiration. Um, and yeah, we've got a sandstone one, a brick one, uh, a wood one, which will probably be quite bland to make the others stand out. And then we've got a mossy cobble one, which will have um, green wool on top. So uh, yeah, mossy green wool, um, just wood wood. Brick and red wool and then sandstone and yellow wool. We're going to kind of try trial it and see how that looks. Um, I think I'm going to make a start with this one. As you can see, I also um, built a sand duper because on this server, sand and gravel duping is allowed. And all you need to do is just spam this lever and you get infinite sand pretty easily, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to make a start on at least the sand one, maybe even the brick one as well, um, just to get an idea of the scale and kind of the detail that's going to go into the rest of these builds. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so a little progress update here. This is what I've been working on. Um, as you can see, the, the scale and yeah, this gives you an idea of what kind of the builds are going to be like. Um, I used uh, Mr. Saturday's idea of having like the paint peeling off the walls, exposing the bricks on this one, and then this one's just kind of got the, the multi-layered story here, and I noticed a lot of uh, a lot of the buildings in Venice, they have these doors literally right on the water, so I've kind of tried to include those here, and yeah, I'm pretty much sticking to the, to the similar style, because, um, yep, like in Venice, they're all pretty much the same kind of building, just slightly different color variations, and they've got these nice arch kind of windows in here, so yeah, I've kind of tried to include that, and I'm really liking how this is looking so far. Um, if I go over to the builds, so if we come over here um, to the, I guess, front of the builds, um, I haven't done too much detailing, I think um, it kind of speaks for itself, plus there's like a bit of a pathway here, so I can't really jut out too much. Um, they're multi-storied, so this, uh, I'll do some kind of, um, I don't know, designing up here of some interior, uh, but the main purpose of this place is for the sand duper, so this is a really easy access sand duper, which is cool. And then we've got the brick uh, building in here, again, double story. Um, it doesn't have anything in it right now, but of course I'll, uh, I'll add something eventually. And uh, yeah, so that's the two I've been working on so far. Now I'm collecting uh, green wool so that I can uh, make this one, and then obviously I just need wood for this one. So yeah, some good progress, and I'll show you guys when it's all done and dusted, and we can, uh, we can look through it all together. Alright, so I've finished off the last two builds, and I've even done some slightish interiors, not really, um, but yeah, pretty cool. We've got, yeah, the yellow one, which has the sand duper in it, we've got this red one, which has a transmuter in it, uh, we've got this one, which I'll talk to you in a minute, and then this one here has nothing really, it's just a 
go to chest with a fish in it. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these builds came out. I think they're all very unique. I think they all have their own personalities, which is really cool. Um, I didn't think this one would work out too well, but it actually, in the end, worked out very well. So yeah, I'm going to go over here and I'll take you through it from the start from the other end. Okay, so walking down the street here, you guys already saw this, but I have made some signs so you can actually kind of see what's what. We've got the sand duper and then the, uh, the chest there, which is cool. And then we've got here, we've got the transmuter, nice little brick build, nothing in the, in the top levels, but down here you've just got the transmuter here, a chest for if you're doing some bulk, uh, bulk work there. Um, so yep, that's a, that's what the brick building is. Now this one is where I had all my, uh, all my stuff. So it's my house, Boxboy's house, but I've also got it a sign, wait, sign a sign inside. <laughs> sign a sign inside. Um, so yeah, basically when you go inside, you'll see that it's super empty and I've got a sign here to tell you to choose a sign. And, uh, what I kind of want is, um, everybody to watch this video who plays on the server or even if you don't, um, grab a sign and place it anywhere in this house, like on the walls, on the floor, anywhere, I don't mind. You can even come up here, although this is where I have all of my my materials and things, but you can even come up here and place signs as well. So yeah, that's kind of what I want um, out of this. And there is also a mine access down here and a uh, uh, flower farm as well. But yeah, oh, I didn't really show the view off from here. This is a really cool view, um, like sort of standing along here. All right, and the last build is oh, the last. I oh, by the way, I really like the way this one turned out detail wise. I think that looks really cool. Uh, the last one is here. This is the green one. Um, and it's just a fishing house. The only reason it's a fishing house is because this chest with a fish in it has been in here for a while, so that's it. And then, yeah, we've got this sort of upstairs part as well. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how all of these builds turned out, and I hope you guys think they're pretty cool too. Um, yeah. I do have free cam installed, so I, I kind of want to show you guys, um, sort of the X, like the, I don't know, this floating view here so you can get a good view of this place. I'm pretty sure free, cam free cam is allowed. If not, I mean, I guess ban me, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I really like the way these turned out. There's the roofs, they're not too interesting, but at least they're, like, detailed enough. And then the other side, just over here. Yeah. All right, and just like that, we have completed our first two tasks that we had planned for the server, and I think we've done it pretty well, if I'm honest. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments how well you think I did. Now, we're on to the last one. The very last task I have planned for this video, which is establish a town, a city, whatever, for a base of operations um, on the server. Because I want my own town, alright? I want my own place. And I'm thinking of names, and I I'd be interested to know what you guys suggest. Um, but I'm thinking, like, something back to beta related, you know? Back to beta town. BTBT. Or something like that, you know? Back to beta town... Something, I don't know, something like that. You guys could probably come up with something better, but uh, yeah, that's the plan. So we're going to go out and find a suitable spot for this potentially unnamed town. Alright, so I'm thinking this place is probably as good as any to start a little, uh, a little town. So uh, these are the cords up in the top left there, you can see. The best way to get to this portal is to go through the Far Lands uh, tunnel that they've been making, and you go to 2,000 blocks out and you'll, uh, you'll find that there's a portal that links to here. So, yeah, that's the easiest way to get here, but this is a nice area. I'm going to use Free Cam again. Um, it's got a big open space, which is really cool, some islands or, I don't know, some more land masses, but most notably this big flat area here. Now, it is kind of ugly grass, but uh, I don't know, it's nice and flat and open, and I think people could uh, could use it pretty well. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna settle down here and make this uh, make this the base of operations for the uh, for the start of the city. All right, and by placing down this sign, future back to beta city project is in full motion. Now this is open to anybody who is anyone who wants to join. Here are the cords once again, and yeah, feel free to come over here and participate in this uh, in this build. I've already made. Uh, a little start here. I've got a little little cabin house. Um, but yeah, get your friends together and let's build here. All right, but that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these builds and I'll see you guys in the next one or potentially on the server. Laters!